Hi guys, today I'm going to use the Snow Fairy bath bomb and this is the last bath bomb I've got to try from this gift set that I've got from Lush. Last night I went out till about 4am on Saturday and I feel gross right now. I did not drink anything but I've got a headache so I'm excited for this bath. So this smells really bubblegummy. It's really really nice and it doesn't feel as fragile as the other ones like with the other ones when I pick them up I feel like they're just going to fall apart but this feels quite sturdy it's got a few sparkles on it as well you can probably hear the minecraft music in the background and also like cars outside the minecraft music is kind of like calm and I kind of like that when I'm in the bath I'll be hearing the minecraft music because it's kind of relaxing right now. It does run really hot bath. I feel like this is going to sink for some reason. It has. So you're not going to have to really see that much. I'm scared because I don't know if this is actually a bath bomb. Um, because it, normally they're done and it's not dissolving or anything. Okay, this is actually really fun. It's a snow fairy roll, which means that it's a bubble bar. So it will create bubbles in the bath. And how you use it is you crumble a little, a lot, or the whole thing under running water or unleash mounds of balls. So this is fun because I was actually about to use my Christmas gift set and I was like, I want to use my Christmas gift set because it has bubble a bubble bar in it. Um, but I'm not going to use that yet because I want to do a haul, like showing everything that I've got in that set. That's why I'm using this one. And this is actually a bubble bar, which is what I wanted to use instead of a bath bomb anyway. So that's really a good surprise. I haven't used a bubble bar before, so this is going to be interesting to try. I actually have no idea how you use this. Okay, so I've now realised why this felt a lot more sturdy than a bath bond. Because bath bombs are more sensitive. Not sensitive. These are meant to dissolve and these, you crumble them. So I've just basically... I watched a YouTube video on how people use these. And I've seen a lot of them chop up and use sieves. And I don't have a sieve. But I've just basically taken some of this off and crumbled it. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to use this bath bomb. It's just like a lemony one. It smells quite nice and it was worth £3 but I got it for free because I did like Halloween trick or treat thing when it was Halloween and I picked this one. Okay, so I'm going to try now. I hope this is not a bubble bath because now I'm starting to feel like this one is too. Do you think this is actually a bath bath? It's not really doing much. I don't think this is working. And let me just, uh, where's my phone? Okay, we've just had two bath bomb fails. I'm not sure what those two are for. I don't even know what this is called. I think this is a bubble bath. We've probably used it wrong. Okay, now I'm going to try the Pumpkin Pumpkin Bath Bomb. This I actually know is Bath Bomb because I've tried this before. I just kind of assume like all of these are Bath Bombs. That's cool. Okay, so... I'm looking up the one I just used and it's called Not Sleepy Shower Bomb. So I'm guessing with that you were supposed to use it in the shower and then it's gonna be money fog. How to use, gently hold under the ring shower as it foams up. Smooth this brightening Sicilian lemon oil and exfoliating ground white rice filled foam all over the skin before rinsing. So it's actually, you put it on your skin and that explains why it was a lot smaller than the bath bombs. There are some bubbles in the bath from the yellow thing <laughs> that bubbles the bath bomb. Oh, there's still a little bit of bath bomb there. Okay, and then we're left with this beautiful orange colour and now I'm going to run some water over this. I'm going to come up some more. I 
I'm just going to put some bath salts in, the like bath crystals in here. So I think with bath salts, they relax your muscles. I'm not actually 100% sure. It says charcoal and bamboo infused sea salts. And on the back, it doesn't really say much information. I feel like it just assumes that everybody knows what bath salts are. Okay, this is what we have here. Next time I'm definitely putting a lot more in. I'm gonna get in the bath now. That's so hot. I don't think I can get in it right now. So now I've been some cold water in. I feel like this is more of like a bath vlog. I feel like I've been doing like a bath on demos. I'm sort of showing you my whole bath experience. Guys, my skin is like a little bit thin right now. Guys, I just made a joke that the sea has parted because <laughs> it's like that down the middle. Right, I've noticed that something that happens to me when I get in the bath is that, well, as soon as I get out of it, I feel quite thin and I think it's because the bath is hot. <laughs> I think it's also symbolizing dehydration and that I need to have water as soon as I get out of the bath. Sometimes I just like drink water whilst I'm in the bath. And it's quite a weird experience because like, Water is going in me as I'm drinking it, whilst I'm in the water. Oh, cute. 